So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome to the crazy little kitchen we've got going on here. I'm gonna be showing you some of the things I got today from the Dollar General. You can call it a Dollar General haul if you'd like. I love the Dollar General. In fact, I'm going there a lot more often than a lot of other places these days. So I thought I'd share with you what I'm grabbing and why. Sometimes it's bigger hauls than others. But, you know, the, th the name of the game right now is putting away food. Putting away food. So I'm gonna show this to you real quick. So this is on the countertop right here because before we left, I made sure that my canner was off and I had just pulled these. In fact, they're still warm, lightly warm from the canner. So I was able to do, what, seven pints of hamburger meat before I left. So these are sitting and cooling. Uh, looks like every single one of them have sealed. So I wanna encourage you to continue to be canning and putting away foods as, as best you can. This ground beef came from Costco. It was an 8812 and uh, I got it six months ago. It's been in my freezer. It's a good time for you to be going through your freezer, chicken, pork, beef, whatever, pulling it out, start canning it, put it away, and then you can grab the new stuff if you can find it, hopefully at a pretty good price. This is what is going to be elongating and keeping your foods safer in storage for you to eat when you need to. I'm getting a lot of questions today about this because I posted it on Facebook. I actually didn't do this. I Well, okay. That's, that's not all the way true. I made sure that the jars were washed in the dishwasher yesterday, put on the countertop, and sat for, you know, a good 12, 24 hours, fully dry. Then Gabriel is who filled these up, and then he vacuum sealed them. So I have crispy oats, which is basically a generic a, a Cheerio type cereal from Aldi. I have mac and cheeses, and then I have homemade cinnamon sugared bananas that were in my dehydrator. You will notice that inside I do have an oxygen absorber in there. A lot of folks that vacuum seal their goods and jars don't use those, but I do to try to keep it longer. It just makes me, makes me feel better about life. And then, so he did every single bit of this. He did all of this. He could have done every bit of it anyway, but I, you know, I helped out here or there. But my 16 year old did this and then I came in with him and I wrote on the top exactly what it is and the date that we sealed it. So any which way that you can put foods away, be doing it. This is not dry canning. These are vacuum sealed with an oxygen absorber in a washed, cleaned, dry jar with a brand new lid, boom. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I got today. It's not a huge mess of items, but this is the name of the game. You don't have to go out and spend $500 in one day to get stocked up and to get things that you need or that make sense for you over time to have one heck of a pantry, y'all. Come on. Just do a little bit here and a little bit there. If you know how to work deals and work the coupons, like some of you ladies out there, I've seen your comments. I know how you're wheeling and dealing. I know what you're doing. I love it. So here's what I'm saying. We had to go to town. I needed a few quick items. We went and got our tomatoes from the Future Farmers of America, beautiful group of kids at the school. I, I found gas actually cheaper there than it is here. It's gone up 20 cents, excuse me. I thought the gas prices were gonna go stay down. No, no. Mm -mm. So I had to fill up gas. So I said, let's go to Walmart. Did you see the parking lot today? I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what planet, bless me, okay? Just go ahead, bless her heart. So I said, oh, we're not doing that crazy town. So I said, honey, let's go to Dollar General. So we just drove a little bit further up the road, closer to where we needed to come home. And I went in because I love Dollar General. I don't go to the Dollar Tree as much as I used to. Y'all, that whole extra quarter thing just kind of doesn't make it worth it when a lot of the items that you would want to get from the five quarter store are now still at the Dollar General and they're still a dollar. So why would I spend the extra quarter? You tell me. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a hodgepodge. I needed to get a few tubs for some things that I'm putting away. So I don't, these were nine bucks, they're kind of deep. No bigger of a deal than anywhere else. Home Depot or Walmart. I mean, I might have saved a buck. I might have spent an extra buck. I don't really think that's going to be that big of a deal, but I needed them. They had them. It made sense. I'm not going to 
drive further or what or wait longer for something that I needed. See, that's the thing that's beautiful about making trips worth your while and understanding what's at stores that you like. You can get a variety of different things at the Dollar General. And no, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just telling you what I think, okay? Now, today or this week, they had a dollar off coupon. Remember those digital coupons we've talked about before? This was a, These were a dollar off. The Arm & Hammer, I don't know if you've used it. Eight, you know, it's for high efficiency. They've got different different flavors, as I call it. Y'all, that stuff works good. Give me, give me some fist bump for the Arm & Hammer. That's old school. I love that. Now, I have been seeing comments from different places and people from different people, different people in different places, on comments here and on Facebook or whatever. They can't find these. We can from time to time. It depends on where you go. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to tell you you can't find them because you can, but they, they vary a little bit in price. But today they had these, I think they were around $340. So we just get, grab two to put away. The expiration, check that out. Or excuse me, sell by date. Y'all know what that means, right? It means you can eat it later than that. But hickory smoked and the cooked regular ham, they had three of each. I got one of each. So y'all head on down there and pick you up one. I left you two behind, okay? I grabbed some quick vinegar. I have vinegar. I have big old jugs of vinegar, but I wanted to get a new little mini bottle. It's convenient for when I'm canning and I'm wiping the rims. It was a buck, okay? So that's a convenience item. You can't have enough white vinegar, and so I grabbed that today. Peanut butter. Do I need peanut butter? Uh, not necessarily, but it's a good item to keep, you know, on uh, rotation and stockpiled in any pantry, any pantry. So these were a dollar off today. So I just, I just got one. It was with the digital coupon. See, I didn't go crazy. I got one. Now, I don't know if you've seen these. My Nana loves these. This is in that dollar section. Some dollar generals have these and some do not. I can't answer as to why, but this particular one has these soups, all the Campbell soups, really nice. I got the um, hearty ham and bean chicken and noodle, and I had never seen the potato. They have two, a barley and beef and something else as well. They were sold out of those. These are a buck, okay? If you've seen the price of other Campbell soups, they are much more expensive. I don't, it's crazy. So these were a dollar, and you, what was that we were looking at? Because James was like, how big is that can? If you're looking at 14 ounces, 14 and a half ounces. So this is a good item to put in the pantry for later, to put into a blessing box, to buy for your Nana, whatever. See if you can find those, because I think that is a great deal. Um, I'll tell you what, we can find pasta a whole lot easier than we can find egg noodles here. So wherever I'm at, whether it's he here or Aldi or Walmart, because Walmart didn't have them. I mean, I'm serious when I tell you that. Um, I pick up a pack of two or two of egg noodles. I'm going to do this with them. You see what I did with the Cheerios, or excuse me, Gabriel did with the Cheerios, or the, the fake Cheerios, the crispy oats, y'all. Um, this is a great idea for that. Or you can put them in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber, make them last. I love these types of noodles. Quick meal, easy. Hey, look, put your soup over your noodles. Boom, you have a meal. You feel, are you picking up what I'm throwing down here? I think you are. So I picked up two of these. They had a couple, so I got two. Uh, I know. It's a hairbrush. It's new, though, so don't worry. It's not. <laughs> Gabriel was begging with that beautiful, long, rich, black hair of his for a new brush. So, Mom made it happen today. The boy has to have a brush for his Samson locks there, right? We love that. All right. I have never seen this before. I'm talking fast because there's a lot to talk about. Um, this was in the dollar section, and it is your water. And this one is peach blueberry. And uh, it has the date on there, the sell-by date or whatnot of January. Is it 2024, January? So I thought, why not? I'm going to, we'll try one. Maybe put two or three away on the shelf. You can't have enough water. I mean, you know, it could be really good. I've not tried these. I have no idea. So we're going to see if they're worth a flip or not. If they're not, we won't buy them again. If they're great, I'll consider it. But you know what? I got something on the shelf for many different reasons. So if you know what's coming, if you know what how to prepare for an emergency, something like this, regardless, is very important to have.
All right, so over in the dollar section, or right in that aisle, down the aisle, were all the pickles and whatnots. I'm a pickle fanatic. I've said that before, so I love pickles. These were not a dollar, but they're nice size jars. And sometimes right now you can find sweet gherkins, sometimes you don't, so I don't pass it up. I think these were a dollar, either 65 or 85. I'm going off the top of my head. I'm so professional, I do not have my receipt in front of me. I also got the one, I, I, I say to you right now, the one <laughs> pepperoncini on the shelf because I love to make Mississippi uh, pot roasts and chicken and add the cream cheese to it. Have you done that? Have you added the cream cheese? Y'all, ladies, put it, whip that up and put it then over the egg noodles. I mean, it's just fantastic. So I grabbed that. No need to necessarily, I have a jar, but hey, your backups need backups. And this is an emergency item. Hey, right now you get a dollar off of your, hey, and your mama, we love you, girlfriend. We love you. So this was, I think these were $2.50, if I'm not mistaken. And then right now they have a dollar off digital coupon. So I grabbed one. Are you feeling, are you feeling what I'm about to throw down? Are you going to pick it up? You see that right there? See how we did that right there? Put this in the jar, oxygen absorber. Put a little coffee filter over it so you don't suck it up into your filter. Put your lid on it. Store it. Boom. We got pancakes till the end of time, y'all. Woo! All right. Now, I better stop talking about toilet paper because the more I talk about toilet paper, the prices go up. And I'm going to tell you right now, I got a little birdie telling me today on a personal phone call, I'm not making this up. I don't care how high you've got that toilet paper stacked. You might have an issue coming down the road soon. I want to make sure I said that here today. So I'm not telling you to go buy 75,000 rolls of toilet paper or get scared about not wiping your booty. But I'm letting you know that with everything going on in the supply chain and all of the issues that you're seeing, paper products, don't be surprised. That was the heads up I got today. If they are important in your life, like I said, tomorrow after you get off church, if you have to run in, you know, pick you up a little pack like I did today. Just to put on the just to put on the back side. Yes, you are still seeing one dollar for six rolls. Okay? They are two ply and they are septic safe. This is the best deal going on toilet paper. Now they have another deal that they used to sell for four fifty. It's still great toilet paper. It's in my last video. I do buy it too. They are four seventy five now. So we've jumped from four fifty to four seventy five. These if you can find them Still four quarters, not five quarters, four quarters. In my book, if you find beans, any type of bean, for a dollar, a dollar a pound or less, you better grab your pack. You don't have to grab 16 packs. You don't have to grab nine packs. Grab one or two, bring them home, plan to can them, put them away, <laughs> Put them in the freezer like we've done, we've shown you years ago on videos, by the way. You know that, right? We have videos on that from years, uh, 2016, if I'm correct. Freeze your beans for a couple of days, bring them out, let them, de let them thaw out and get nice and dry. Some people put them through the oven just for a little bit to make sure they don't have any moisture. And then you can put them in here and vacuum seal them or put them in a Mylar bag. Yes, sister. But the goal is now... You just got to get the beans right now, okay? We can talk about all that other stuff later. So my my goal and my theory is any bean that I can find for a dollar a pound or less, I'm going to grab it because I'm telling you that is harder to come by. Now, some places sell it in bulk, and you can get it for like 80, 89 cents a pound. Get them. But like I said, ain't no shame in the game. This is an easy giveaway item. This is a great item to put in a blessing box. Quick little bag might save a life. I should not tell you this, but I love this soap. I don't want you to go buy all my soap. There's only one place. I'm not going to tell you which Dollar General it is. <laughs> this is new. I grabbed a couple of them to just put away. This is all, a lot of these items I'm putting away, okay? So this is the two for a uh, dollar uh, deal. It's in the dollar section. Yeah, and they're over four ounces. Look at that, four ounces. They're big old bars huge bars of soap and they smell really really nice if you were going to ask what it smells like it's very similar to irish spring i like irish spring smell i like that fresh smell so i grabbed a couple of these because frankly we've gone ahead and used a pack or two and so therefore i tried it so i know i like it and my boys liked it so simple 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 
put it in a tub, put it away, two nice big old bars of soap, no stress, for a buck. Now, I grabbed some puppy pads. No, I will tell you right now, it's not the best deal on puppy pads at the Dollar General. But I wasn't fighting Walmart today, people. My sanity was very important. And my baby chicks that you hear chirping, chirping, or excuse me, well, it's chicks and turkeys in my brooder behind me are still on puppy pads because it keeps the smell down. It keeps them cleaner. So this is what I've committed to, and I love it. And so, therefore, I grabbed the small pack today until I can get past the holiday crazy town, and then I'll get another big pack as soon if I need it, okay? They may be already outside. Last but not least, anytime I'm at the store, I can assure you that I'm picking up evaporated milk. Uh, we've talked about the formula shortages. I have a great concern for babies keeping their booties covered and getting plenty of milk. So if people that I know or may not know have to resort to making their own and I can assist them because you don't know what people need or you might, you don't know what they might need in six to nine months or a year, whatever, this might be a game changer for somebody. Yes, they've gone up substantially. So you don't see three or four sitting here. I just grabbed one. If I keep along that line, just like you do with everything else, this is what I'm saying. You don't have to pick up 10. I grabbed one. I didn't pick 20. They didn't even have 20. I got two. I got one. I got, you know, a handful. Whatever. Just going along like this on a weekly basis, if you can. You know, every time you run out, just get a little something. You don't even have to get this much. And you keep doing that. This will quickly build up. And you're going to have a nice stockpile for you, for your church, for your family, your friends. It all matters in the end. All right, guys, we're going to close it out. We're going to put all our junk away. Like I said, everything matters. Everything that you do every day, canning some ground beef, putting away some Cheerios, putting away some soups, little bit. The see, you keep doing this just a little bit at a time, and, you know, you're just going to have an incredible, incredible backup for your backups and your backups, and that is what smart people do. We appreciate you watching. We got more videos coming your way. I'm not sure when this video is going to be up. It may be tomorrow, which will be Easter. Easter. Happy Easter to you. Many blessings to you. Get out there and make it happen, folks. You're the ones making the difference. Remember that. We love you. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And hey, we'll see you on the next video.